that presentation, the Treasurer General did present the finance report. Uh, just before we went, as we came back, as we presented before lunch, as we came back for lunch, we also received just an update on some of the developments in the country. More importantly, the energy issue. Sure, South Africans out there are as concerned as we are in the African National Congress about uh, the energy crisis. They will want to know what is the position of the ruling party. They will want them to tell them that this is what is being done to permanently attend to all of this. Cadres of the ANC who are deployed in government are also serving in the National Executive Committee, especially those that are deployed uh, to deal public enterprise with deals with ESCOM as well as uh, energy. The national chair is the Minister of uh, uh, Minerals and Energy, Mineral Resources and Energy, and their comrade Pravin is the Minister of uh, Public Enterprises, which oversees SOEs, including ESCOM. So we did receive a brief on what is happening. The National Executive Committee will reflect on those challenges that are currently being faced by the power utility and pronounce themselves on the decisive actions required by our government so that we can give the people of South Africa certainty that we are dealing with the issue of generation permanently. We are dealing with the issue of energy security across permanently. So as you came in, National Executive Committee members were expected to start that discussion. They've already received a report. We'll reflect on that. And by the time we rise, the NEC will be able to communicate a message that must not just give our people hope, but must also outline the steps that we are undertaking. If there is a single threat to the ANC's hold to power and governance to the people of South Africa, it's this energy issue. We have to deal with it as an urgent priority. It's not something that we need to look at tomorrow. No, we have to deal with it today. The people of South Africa have to know that in the next few months, in the next day, in the next weeks, this is what is being done to attend to the energy crisis. It undermines investment. It undermines e economic growth. It undermines the introduction of new industries. The things that we have said we want to do in our own uh, economic recovery plan, some of them won't be able to be achieved and sustained if we do not deal uh, with the energy crisis. So we assist with this matter. It is on the agenda of the Special National Executive Committee. We will be able to communicate to yourselves on the steps that have to be undertaken. And these steps include everything overall. Human resources, infrastructure, investment, jobs, alles. So all those things are on the agenda of the National Executive Committee. So we're dealing with those. We'll receive the reports of the Integrity Commission as we earlier stated. Like I said, that uh, what the, how the TG, Comrade Paul Mashatile, has uh, been running the work of the SGO has been such that he wants to brief the media at the conclusion, on the conclusion of the National Executive Committee. So he had said that I must uh, still uh, make you aware that there will still be space for interaction post this uh, National Executive Committee to look at the decisions that the NEC uh, will have arrived at. And like we said, we will have a media networking session this Wednesday here uh, at the Nazareth Conference Center. So I know that uh, when we discussed with yourselves previously, we did try to also talk about why, what we might want to do uh, in the media lounge, including allowing space for journalists to be able to uh, work late and all of that. That will still be done. But our decision, and this not just applies to the media, to everyone else, is that the Nazare Conference Center is going to be declared an alcohol-free zone, uh, effective from the 15th. On the 15th of, uh, is it the 15th when we go in a hard lockdown? And mm. So on the 15th of uh, December, next week Thursday, we go on a hard lockdown. 
So this entire space is an alcohol free zone. Our instruction and directive to the police are going to be clear. We do not want any alcohol beverages in the vein. So if people want uh, to have something, just make sure that you, do, you don't do it on the day that you will be. Or you can be able to hold on yourself, you know, behave yourself well. Because we may not be able to account to what may happen to anyone found in the venue uh, showing signs of intoxication. Because uh, there will be action there. You know, the, the, the conduct of journalists, of our own delegates, we want this to be a free zone for everyone. So it's an alcohol-free zone. We are not uh, saying quit, but at least while you are here, try and carry yourself in a manner and way that will make you look like me. Please. So, so that is the one issue, and Pam, our, I thought I must clarify it, because uh, the media launch team had initially thought that they may create space to allow journalists to have a cash facility in case they need such. We were then advised that creating a cash facility and limiting it only to journalists may create a problem because we also have got delegates uh, that are of a qualifying age. So we just had to manage that space uh, in that way. So, but but what, what we will do as DIP for those qualifying individuals, we'll find a way of seeing how best we make such arrangements outside the conference precinct. So because we want you to, you know, you must, it's December as well, like it's December. So we want you to also just, uh, we don't want you to lose the December flag <coughs> because it's conference. We thought we must just give that update and Pam so that where there are expectations and savings, people must now know that they can loosen the belts. Um, yes. Just uh, quickly, is there a possibility that the Integrity Commission of Courts will be processed today, given the fact that you've now added something new on the agenda, which is the energy crisis? No, but uh, I don't know how the energy issue, which is a current affairs matter facing the people of South Africa, would conflate with the Integrity I'm Commission. No, I, I'm, I'm, I'm answering. Is there a possibility, because you didn't mention it earlier, so I'm following the program that you presented to us earlier on today. There was no mention of the energy crisis. Okay, that's fine. Okay, I will want to follow the structure of how you want me to answer. So what I was trying to do was, I was answering that it is not, not possible that the discussion on energy can take away the time. I'm sure that we are raising it on timing. That are you going to have enough time to deal with all the issues? You are right. In the morning I did not mention the energy issue. But it is an issue that I mean, we will, we will South Africans will be surprised. Members of the ANC will actually be shocked that the ANC had a meeting and did not even reflect on energy. This is current affairs. It affects everyone. Well, because I'm with yourselves outside, I don't want to speak with a uh, greater certainty. If there are changes to the program, I will make you aware. It's a fair question, but I think uh, it just requires that one confirms. If there are changes, we'll make you guys aware. Yes? Okay, okay, I will come to you, Natasha. Dis discussions are ongoing in the meeting. What we do not do ordinarily is that unless we do a presser where we invite present uh, cadres who presented to the NEC to come and be the ones that preside over such issues, what we will do ordinarily is to be able to talk to decisions, you know, so that we don't uh, misquote or misrepresent issues, uh, Tando. Well, a discussion is ongoing. A discussion is ongoing. And as you know, the NEC is not televised. If I was inside, I would know. So I don't know where in the program are they. But I can tell you now, what you were, as, as you were coming in, they just finished that presentation. As we speak now, members of the NEC are engaging with those presentations. 
So at the end of this meeting, we'll have a decision that we can communicate. Does that assist? Yes, uh, 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 Natasha will come to Busi. Okay, okay. Now, who are these 60 members? Because I don't know. Is it 60 members from the northwest, no, from Deep Slot? Well, well, I, I, I do not know because no one joins the ANC as a group. I, 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 yes, I'm coming to your question. Because, because this is to clarify, because I'm sure you are asking it for the benefit of those that have been following the story as well. Well, Nata, oh, you wanted to add something to your question? No, no, no. I'm just, please, please be careful. Like, you're mm. right about it. <laughs> okay. Oh, no, that's, was that the question? No, 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 no. no. Oh, okay. No, that's fine. Okay. So, so, so that we don't mess up with supply chain, uh, let's just go straight to the answers. We don't, in the ANC, you don't join as a group. No one in the ANC ever joined as a group. It is unheard of that cadres would organize themselves as a group in the ANC. Because everyone joins the ANC voluntarily as a member. That is why when they take the oath of membership, which effectively ap which appears on the very first part of the constitution of the ANC, is the oath of membership. That oath of membership is taken by an individual member. They talk about placing their own energy, skills, and everything else to discharge what is required of the organization from themselves as individual members. So it's unfortunate that the Arcaders who decided to write as a group. We talk here. That's why even when, you are, when we were charged in the Youth League, because I once went to the NDC, we are charged as individuals. That your case is being had same time. Umulatu Fajwa number one in English, accused number one, accused number two in that order. So we don't have groups in the ANC. Safe to say that if there's an issue that comes from an individual member of the ANC whose concern might be similar to other members of the ANC, we'll listen and adjudicate on that. The ANC processes are fair. Nomination processes are open to everyone. Some of the comrades you mentioned here, I don't remember, recall, seeing them as members of provincial executive committees or as members of RECs. They are raising a concern about saving and wanting membership of the apex structure of the African National Congress. And their concerns relate to how they would have been nominated. We do not impose on members of the ANC, branch members of the ANC, who they must nominate. Concerns have been raised. I'm sure that the, 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 the relevant bodies of the ANC will be able to talk to those. My plea to yourselves in the media is that know this. We don't have groups in the ANC. Because the SABC has entertained a group that's why when you ask us a question, you are asking us a question about a group. Because you decided to give people who are not leading structures of the ANC a platform. The media must be aware and careful not to do that. Because when you do that, you are now becoming part of ANC processes. And because comrades like appearing on television, and because they've seen that in the absence of news you look for them, they say the things that they know. They agreed to participate in the nomination process that they were not nominated by enough branches to make it to this process can't really be a problem of the African National Congress. So please, media, let us avoid, let us avoid to elevating dissent. I've seen the comrades that you spoke to. They don't lead structures of the ANC. The people you just counted now, tell me who amongst them lead the PEC or REC of the ANC. branching, eh? That's why today you have got people from branches who think that they can come and lead structures of the ANC. Why? They've seen their faces on TV. They've read about their names on newspapers. Artushan and comrades. We've set up a process. Cadres of the ANC know exactly what needs to happen. If these comrades came to the ANC, we'll be able to address them. Some of them know 
that the things that they are doing are not in keeping with the discipline of the organization. Comrade Khalema did not know who's going to be nominated to be in the NEC of the ANC. The electoral committee didn't know that. They are simply reflecting on the outcomes of branches. If there's a valid case that a CADA is raising, let a CADA raise that case as an individual. We can't, Natasha, entertain people who are raising issues as a group. Well, we have entertained them. I've seen them today on Morning Live. In the process, in the process, they are even insulting members of the Electoral Committee. Now, my appeal to them, I'm going to come to you, Sisus. My appeal to them is that if they've got genuine concerns, or even individual member of the ANC believes that, by the way, we can't stop cadres from standing if they believe that they qualify to lead the ANC. But we know each other in the African National Congress, and we know where we saw each other. We know what position each and every individual cadre operates. Some of them come here, come from Haude. I know which branches they belong to. They, they've tried their luck in RECs. Again, the same thing happened to them when they were trying that luck. Luck was not on their side. Now they are trying to push that luck to South Africa. It's not going to happen. You can't try in a region, get Donald there, and try elsewhere, and think that things might change. No. We can't do that. Let's let respect processes of the ANC. You have spoken to structures. If there's an issue to adjudicate, those, the relevant bodies will adjudicate on that, and they will be able to talk to an individual member, not a group. An individual member must say, I am Pule Mari from Watt 96 in Johannesburg, Havana City Branch, Zone 14. I know that I was nominated by 17 branches. I'm worried that my name does not appear. Then they will write to me that, ah, ah, Pule Mavi, you were nominated by 17 branches in your province. You did not make part of the 80, because you must be part of the 80 in your province. And then overall, when they take all of the 80s, so it means you must have been nominated by the Youth League. So the Youth League will count for a vote. You must be, be nominated by the Women's League. It will count for a vote. You must, so because the Youth League and the Women's League are treated as provinces, you must have been part of the top 80 in your province. So now, when you are part of the top 80, so see, Zianda is part, of, is part of the top 80 in KZN, in Limpopo, in the Northwest. All you do, you take the numbers that she got, you add them up. You take the numbers that Steve got, you add them up. You take the numbers that Pulia got, you add them up. Out of that, you then say, who constitutes the top 200 from all of these provincial nominations? Once you have arrived at the top 200 from those provincial nominations, you then publish your list of top 200. You will only have, subsequently, you will only have those that have been nominated by. So, for instance, if a person has been nominated by the Youth League, you will have them reflected. If a person has been nominated by the Women's League, you will have the, it might be outside that uh, total number, but you are going to have a list that, so for instance, the total list that shows the names of all those that were nominated by provinces goes up to 354. But the total nominees to this national conference are almost 10,000. Total number of those who were nominated in this conference are 10,000. Of the 10,000, 354 or so of them managed to secure provincial nominations. Of the 354, the top 200, who are in terms of numerical balance, were then published there. So, if these cadres wanted to understand this principle, they should have engaged with the ANC for it to be clarified. The Electoral Committee clarified us on this. The National Executive Committee adopted the electoral rules with this understanding. We had a number of press conferences where these issues were clarified out to the public. Our appeal to members of the ANC is that the first discipline that all of them must carry is to submit themselves to organizational processes. The media is not an internal process of the ANC. When you address us through morning life, you are talking to the nations and still expect that you might still make it and be nominated from the floor. It can't happen like that. You know? Or any other media platform. Cadres would have raised their issues and allowed for clarity to be. We must commend those comrades. I will come to you, Wusi. 
must commend those comrades who came to us. There are comrades who came to us. For instance, Comrade Paseka. They spoke to us. They raised the fact that their names were included on those uh, lists without their own knowledge. They called me. And when, when they called me personally, I then called the Electoral Committee to make them aware of some of the comrades that had reached out to us on this question. The Electoral Committee themselves also sit with the names of others who have said that their names have been wrongly added on the list. So we'll deal with this issue at the correct platform where it belongs. Yes, we see. This morning you made a commitment that you would find out more about uh, the report that was issued by the Integrity yes. Commission. Mm. Uh, have you been able to find out whether is there being seen the matter in terms of the digital vibe going to be one of those reports that is on the table uh, at this uh, special NEC and uh, if you can tell us about a few others if you have been successful in your attempt to get that information. Well, I will, I will, I will establish. I think uh, the, the question that Sianda raised uh, is relevant as well. Because timing, you know, we'll only know at a point when they present what they are presenting to us. So we don't know as yet because they have not presented. Remember, she asked a question that given the fact that we are now dealing with the energy issue, are you sure that we'll still be dealing with that? So what I will do, as I go back inside, I can establish, and because you are still within the conference facility, come to you specifically and give you an update. But if others want another similar update, we can, Steve is here from our media relations team. We can always uh, come and give that update. Again, I go guess, I go